Felicia from God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he cannot remember the memory. He can't remember some of the revelation or a lot of the revelation that he received from God. You know what I'm saying? So imagine that I brought you some information. Else, maybe let's say um, some important information that you need to know about your life. Yeah. Okay. And then the next day you come and ask me. And I'm like, you know what? I totally forgot. Then you kind of question. But hold on. This information is important. Okay. If you forget that easily, maybe that information isn't that important. Do you get what I'm saying? And yep. so we have Muhammad, who's supposed to be the greatest or memorizer and reciter of the Quran. But yet he's constantly of the, of the, Quran, of the yeah. Quran. Yes. Not the greatest the, the memorizer Quran. overall of mankind. No, no, no. I'm saying if of anybody the Quran, if, of, of the Quran, the, of the yes, Quran, yes, of the Quran. We're speaking solely about the Quran. Of the Quran. Of the Quran. So not as in he's the best human being that memorized everything. No. no. I'm totally with you. Yeah. Of the Quran, he's the best memorizer and I'm assuming the best reciter of all time. Yes? Yeah. Now, in the Quran, it states um, explicitly that Muhammad will not forget the Quran unless Allah wills so, unless Allah determines that he forgets. Okay? So it's up to Allah to make Muhammad forget if he does forget. Now the problem is, is when you go into the hadiths, what you find is that hadiths show Muhammad on numerous occasions forgetting verses from the Quran. Now the problem is for me is that if Muhammad is supposed to be a great memorizer, okay? Those better than any human being, I said when they got the Quran, okay? And he's forgetting verses of the Quran, okay? We have the first question, one, is Muhammad, um, why would, first of all, the first question, I think, let's kind of re rewind. Why would Allah first willfully make Muhammad forget the Quran? So imagine this. Uh, Muhammad, um, so for example, um, Allah tells Muhammad that he must pray. Muhammad forgets the verses on which he has to pray. Why would Muhammad, Allah willingly make Muhammad forget the very verses which is commanding him to do? Where do you get that from? Okay, I'll read it. Let me read it. Uh, I'm just going to have to find it real quickly. Yeah. It's, very, it's very important that we, um, I don't just kind of make things up and I have to quote it. Yes, yeah, of course. Okay. Oh, so. Can I just add, uh, as you were saying, let me, let me once you real, find it, well, not, right, not on the topic, just I've to clarify it. what you said earlier. Okay. Um, I, I would probably say Allah's probably the best recital of the Quran. Okay, but Muhammad. As a, a human being. Right, yes. so Muhammad yes, is the best recital. Okay. Because you so, said, let, who let, was the best? So let me just read you first. The best would be Allah. Right, let me just read you um, the Quran first of all, just to, and then explain from there. So, Surah um, 87, if you want to get it out. Surah 87, um, Ayah 6, you can read through to 7. You're too quick for me. Surah 87, Ayah 6. I'll read it and you get it when you, when you can, yeah? Uh, hold on, hold on. By degrees, wait, wait, wait. Surah 87, 6 and 7. 87, says, verse 6 to 7. Yes. 87, verse 6 to 7. By, by degrees shall we teach thee, Muhammad, to declare the message, so thou shalt not forget except God wills. Okay, except Allah wills. So Muhammad will not forget unless Allah wills. So, the question I'm asking is this, is this, okay? Because in Sahih Bukhari, let me read it, um, volume 6, um, book 61, um, number, number 556, five, it says, the prophet heard a man... Oh, what did you read that verse? Okay. Surah 87, 6. 87, 6, yeah, yes. read it again. Okay. You read it from your phone. No, 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 please, please. Okay, well, read it from your phone. I'm reading Yusuf Ali, you read it, um, Sahin, um, a different translation, Sahin International. So Yusuf Ali says, by degrees shall we teach thee, Muhammad, to declare the message. So thou shalt not forget, not forget. except as God wills. Except what? What Allah should will. Exactly. Indeed, right. who knows what is de declared and what is hidden. Okay, okay. So we're, we're in agreement with that. They, 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 they correlate. Okay, to be. so we go to the hadith, Sahih Bukhari, the most authentic hadith. Yeah. And it says, narrated Aisha, the Prophet heard a man reciting the Quran in a mosque and said, May Allah bestow bestow his mercy on him yeah. as he has reminded me of such and such a verse of such a book um, that's um, Sahih Bukhari volume 6 book 61 again it says in um, Bukhari 
book, um, volume six, book 61, um, number 557, says Aisha reporting. Oh, sorry, no, no, sorry. Sail Muslim, book four, number um, 1720, says Aisha reporting. That the Apostle of Allah heard a person reciting the Quran at night. Upon this, he said, May Allah show mercy to him. He has reminded me of such and such a verse, which I have missed in such and such a surah. Okay, and that's Muslim book four, number 170. Now let me re um, come to the point that I was making to you. It says here, uh, yes, it says here, uh, okay, the Raqqa, right. narrated Maubin Kudash. It says, one day the Apostle of Allah. So which book is this from? So this is from Abu Dawood, okay. book three, number 1000. Okay, so it says, one day the Apostle of Allah um, um, prayed and gave salutation while a Raqqa of the prayer remained to be offered a man went to him and said you forgot to offer one raka of prayer okay so again Muhammad is forgetting he's forgetting certain verses that Allah has given to him he's forgetting his prayer these are all things that are revealed from Allah so something as important as prayer which Muhammad, um, Allah commands you yeah. right so to follow yeah the greatest reciter yeah the greatest um, uh, memorizer, memorizer of the Quran, of the Quran, of the Quran okay, yeah. cannot remember the Quran. What does it to you? What does it say about Allah? Why would Allah will for him to do something yeah. that goes against his own will? Shall I tell you why? Yes, I'll let you. <laughs> okay, a bit of step back, I think. Because we do not believe the Prophet was anything but you. Right. To take a prophet and elevate him like a god yeah, to, to get rid of that disease where people in the past have worshipped their prophets God sent them as prophets, they've made them as God we do not believe the prophet peace be upon him was anything but human yeah so in God's this is my uh, thing here. I'm not giving you a, uh, you're asking me I'm not a scholar of Islam by the way so yeah, yeah. Okay, hold, can I, can I hold on, hold on. I didn't interrupt you I don't, I don't mind you having a, a, a yeah, yeah, we'll cordial have it, uh, conversation. Finish your point. You wanna, you're fair. You want to interrupt? Finish your point. Not interrupt. If you want to add to it, no, I don't I'm mind. adding to what you're saying. I'm saying to you that because I always say this to Muslims, yeah. I'm not interested so much in your opinion. I'm interested in what Islam teaches. But so if you have a tasfir or some type of um, then um, ask, hadith, then you pick the wrong topic right, okay, the wrong person. That's fine. That's fine. But what I'm asking you is this: is this is that I've given you I've given you the hadith, which is so you know it's, it's a fact. Okay. Yeah. So the question I'm asking you is this: is, is, is very very clear. Is why would Allah? Yeah. Okay. He has commandments yeah. for um, for mankind. Yeah. Okay. Why would he give this command? Right. Let me just, just, just so, one second. Let me, let me just. You uh, ask the question twice. Okay. I can answer it. I can brother, answer brother, it. You can answer it, but you've asked me to, to do it. One second. Okay. So why would Allah yeah. willfully cause him not to know something that's so important right. as prayer? That's what I'm asking. Okay. For several different reasons. Right. right? And not your opinion. These, these actually, yeah. No, these are my opinions because I've already claimed I'm not a scholar of the Hadith or the Quran. If you want to pick a topic. So subjective. Of course. It's my opinion. But not based on. Uh, I can't talk about something I don't know. You, you picked the topic. I didn't object. Okay. Anyway, I've heard your. But let me hear you. Allow, allow me to respond and then we'll see. Maybe okay. you might want to sure. grow add on to that, that, right? Add to it. Lead the conversation. Right. So. From scripture, what we have been told in the Quran, Allah does say, Prophet Muhammad is nothing but a man. Yep? He's not some divine being, he's not some angel, he's a human being. Suffering from the same conditions as you and I. Yep? Pain, love, all of these actions. Uh, having human affection, so and so forth, right? So there will be people who have in the past, present and in the future who will try to exalt Muhammad وسلم, to be more than a human being. And this is merely showing and hu uh, humbling Prophet Muhammad that there are other people who are there to assist. For example, and I, I'm not going to make a long story. For example, there was a scenario where Muhammad Rasulullah and Abu Bakr Siddiq, the first Khalifa, had one opinion, the second Khalifa, and Umar Radulandu had another opinion. Turned out to be Umar Radulandu was right. 
the prophet has he's a human being and he has these uh, human um, interactions however if you have to make a claim that the prophet peace be upon him was forgetful therefore he didn't convey the verse from Gabriel to Prophet Muhammad correctly because he forgot a verse or he needed reminding a verse are two different things. So have you understood what I've just said? Yeah, I did understand. So for example, if I told you something, yeah, uh, one plus one equals two, yeah, that conveyance, you would have to prove whatever Gabriel told Muhammad he forgot that. For you to prove that, you would need to know what Gabriel told Muhammad. Yeah, so, so we've established that point. Yeah, okay. So, the, 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 the reason why this is an important question yeah. is because two, two things. One, if Allah or if Muhammad is forgetting verses, if Muhammad is forgetting, this is spit. You listen? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Don't worry, just ignore it. Okay, if Muhammad is forgetting verses, yes? First of all, I have to question... Verses? Well, it says parts of the Quran. Yes, so it's ayah. Part of the Quran. Right, so it's, the verses are part of the Quran. Okay? Ayah, so, part of the if he's... Brother, I need interruption. Oh, yes, sure. yes. So, the question I have to ask myself is, yes. is if he forgets certain verses, then I have to question, my, question you as a Muslim or I question the Quran yes. and say, are there verses that, because there's going to be people coming up to him and asking questions. Right. How is he able to convey that information to them if he doesn't know the verse itself? That's number one. Number two. Can we do one question at a time? No, no, I'm giving you my conclusion. I, I let you speak for a few minutes. Number two. I, I just don't, I mean, again, you've given me your opinion. You haven't given me any evidence from the scholars or from I'm not that, a scholar. I know that, I know that, but let me finish. Yes? So, give me your opinion, which is fair enough. I've accepted your opinion. However, my also, my, my conclusion as well is this, is that, what does it say about love? If just because someone is human being, like we have many, many prophets, yeah. okay, who were able to prophesy of miracles that happened to take, um, things that were going to take place, they were able to perform great miracles. Nobody said that they were uh, more than, they were uh, more, uh, more than mere prophets. No one said that they were, they were God. Moses, the Red Sea, um, Moses prophesied of great things to come, and you have great prophets that did great things. No one said, oh, do you know what, perhaps they're not a prophet. And the issue, the issue here is Christianity that... Christianity be the evidence? Hold on, hold on, one second, one second. <laughs> Worship Christ, because he brother, did all these things. Okay, sorry, sorry. Let's sorry, just keep, back. Let's just keep this... Um, yeah, he's, he's excited, simple. I can tell, he's let's excited. Keep this so my point is this, is that I don't see where in the Bible, or even the Quran, yeah. it's talking about, uh, uh, Quran or you know, where Allah or simply yeah. does not give someone, um, or makes willfully makes someone forget, okay. especially knowing that what he's given, the information he's given them is, in, is important. Right. For example, no, 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 no. for example, I'll forget hold on, hold on, you want, you want, because I'll remind you. For example, imagine, let's give you a scenario, imagine, imagine someone needs to know how many times he must pray yep. at that particular time. Because right now, in the, 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 the verse I just wrote, I just read to you, Muhammad was praying, right? Yeah. He was praying and others was praying with him. And this is an important time, right? We're not saying prayer is an important time. And somebody had to come and remind him what he should be teaching others. You've forgotten to pray. It's important. Okay? That's exactly that's 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 what we're saying. I would like to uh, oh, see. I, I know, I know, but I'm I'm making my point. I'm saying to me. Do I get I'm saying you are pushable, but I'm saying understand so what I'm saying to you. What type yeah. of person does that make Allah to make someone fight? Right, okay. I will show you how your questions uh, your position doesn't stand. First of all sorry. Uh, I'll answer question one, even though I might uh, forget question two, but you can remind me. Right. Question one. Why did the prophet how can we trust the prophet with the revelation that we have now, yeah, being true and correct if he forgot? Yeah, that was your the, the premise of your uh, the statement of question one. Yeah. 
you would have to prove that the hadith is speaking about the end days of Prophet, peace, Prophet Muhammad and not in the beginning or the middle. However, we have evidence from hadith that in the end days of the Prophet, peace be upon him, Jibreel made the Prophet recite the Holy Quran several times. Yep. And not just that, the Prophet Muhammad made the uh, transcript writers and uh, the recorders to recite what they've recorded several times. Yep. Uh, sorry, so point number one. Point number two, what have, have, making God appear, what sort of God makes someone forget? Well, that's exactly the dilemma you face as a Christian with Jesus not knowing the hour. How can one one God, one being, make another body, sorry, make another person of that same being make him forget when that hour is, when they're both all uh, God and uh, all knowing? Can I respond to you? Of course. Yes. Uh, uh, so yeah, that's uh, the battle, fame, yeah. Come from finish. Yeah. 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 So it's not me relying on your belief to prove I am right. I'm merely showing that. This topic, this topic, you've taken it in a way where it doesn't actually affect Islam as much as it affects Christianity. Because in Islam, we know the reasons why and proof of why God would do such a thing. Perfect examples. Throughout human history, we've had people worshipping the messenger yeah, rather than the understanding the, 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 the message the prophets have come with. Buddha never said worship me or bow down to him and make idols of him, but yet Buddhists do this. Jesus never said worship him or believe him to be God, yet Christians genuflect in front of the, at the cross. The cross was never divine. So pe people will have always these problems and we have evidence in our religion and our scripture to show Muhammad is nothing but a mere mortal like you and I, but gifted with a message because he had the perfect heart. That's fine. Can I respond to you? Of course. Okay. So let's deal with your, 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 your first initial point. Okay? Yeah. So your first point, okay? Now what you what you actually saying in regards to, to, to the hadith because the, the question is this, if Muhammad forgets, how can we be sure that he remembered other parts? Now what you responded by is saying, well, at the end of time, or at the end of Muhammad's life, he recited the whole of the Quran. Yeah, yeah, Angel Gabriel said that. Now, the problem you're gonna have with that, yeah, let me tell you the one problem you're gonna have with that, is because the hadiths prove emphatically that the verses of suckling, of adult, um, um, adult breast suckling, and um, the um, another um, verse in the Quran of stoning is not in the Quran. These these verses. Let me just finish. Yeah. These verses were actually eaten by sheep. A sheep went into Aisha's bed. Said Bukhari went under Aisha, um, Aisha's bed and she ate <laughs> the verses of stoning and adult breast sucking. So you do have verses in the Quran according to Said Bukhari that are missing. Okay. So the, so so if. Allah, if Muhammad did recite all of the Quran in the last day, it was a okay, paper or... just, just a minute, just a minute. He's recited it. You do not have what he, ha what we have to. We do not have the same Quran that Muhammad recited then. Because well, these verses are missing. That's the number one. That's number one answer to your first question. Can we the do second, one at a time? Well, well you, know, you said two things. Let me respond to two points. Okay. Let me respond to two points. The second point you made. Do you want me to keep the time? Do you want me to keep the time? No. Um, no one's being yeah, hijacking or yeah, everyone's being called if, if you. But it's because uh, you're forgetful cut me off, of what question. If you stop cutting me off, then we'll have to cut you off. Okay. So the second point you made was you said that Jesus, okay, did not know the hour. Okay? Yes. Now, that's a different subject, but I want to just address one point on that. Because what you're implying, what you're implying is that God made Jesus forget the hour, which is the whole argument. The argument I'm making to you is that Allah made Muhammad forget the hour. You cannot show, you haven't shown me a scripture where God made any of his prophets okay. or made, no, no, let me finish. Okay, okay. Made Jesus forget the hour, okay? And we can we can discuss that another time. <laughs> no, so, no, no, no. So, hold on, hold on one second. So, so both your, 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 your arguments fail. The first argument fails because you do have um, verses missing in your hadith. I hope you don't find this funny. I'm not, it's hilarious. It's a, you bit, of, it's a bit of a joke that you don't realize. Yes, I wouldn't laugh as much. You don't realize and you don't take it seriously that part of your Quran
everyone is right, listening. Okay, okay. okay? Right, can I and the second up? point, no, no, you've second said point, it, you've said it. Hold on. The second point okay, is you've said it. You need to prove if you're right, going to say God that it's okay, hold on. If you're going to say it's okay, just a minute, that Allah can purposely, willfully right. make someone just a minute, calm down, be patient. Okay. We're not going nowhere. No, no, no. Okay. It's the if you, yeah, like, okay. The so if you you're going Chat to say that God willingly makes these prophets forget, right, okay. then you need to prove right, that, okay. not assert that. Right, okay. okay. Right, thank you. So first point, so, second point. First point, second point. Right. The first point, the suckling of the uh, verse. Hadith, do you know what's so interesting? I'm gonna go on a tangent, anecdotal story, right? The, I was just reading the hadith regarding adult suckling, right? And you know what the funny thing is? It's not the verse was eaten up and it's missing, right? It's that the people hadn't heard of the abrogation of the ages of the verses, okay? So when you talk about Aisha and the adult suckling, you're talking about the abrogation, not the missing verses. Secondly... Bro, yeah. Prove it, prove it. I want to prove it. Keep talking, but I want to prove what you just said. Prove what you just said. Don't make now, things now. up. Now, now, just like I've given you on several occasions, I've read hadith to you, I've read the Quran to you. Not one time have you provided evidence. I first of all I let you off because you said it's my opinion, but now you're continuing to make up claim. stuff up. I'm so no, what I want, no, because I want you I'm to making a claim, not make stuff okay, up. Make your claim. Too different. But you understand okay. the difference. Okay, Substantial claim. Substantial. Right. Okay. Can I put a qualifier? Bring the evidence to, to qualify. What I you would said. have to. Open the book hadith and remember the reference of where I was reading Google it. Google it, because we can't be okay. throwing this okay. thing out there okay. and it's not true. Okay. okay. No, no, no. Show perfect. me that it's an abrogation. That's, perfect. That's perfectly fine. Right? right? And while you're, you're finding that, yeah, right. while you're right. finding that, I'm going to no, no, read no. it. No, no, no. I can answer the second question as I'm uh, thinking. Right? Brother, no, I want no, no. you to show I can multitask, don't worry. Okay. We, you, we can come back to the first one. I can multitask. No, 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 sir, sir, sir. You can't make up stuff and think you're going to let you get away. I'm not going to come up with anything. Well, we're going to give you time to look it up. Thank you. So no, 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 no. I can well, still use my time, utilize my time, and answer the second oh, question. Oh. All right? I had this, my response is. Uh, so you don't, so okay, so just to confirm, we're going to continue, just to confirm, you don't have that information. No, I'm not have, there. You don't, you don't have that information that you just made it was an abrogated verse. You don't have it to hand. I'm showing it to you now. Okay, show it to I me. do not have it at hand. Okay, I'm, using, I'm using my human memory, yes. right? to pick what numbers I think I saw when I read this heading. Okay, I'm gonna, what and I'm going to search it whilst I'm giving you an answer to the second one. If whilst answering the second one, I cannot find the answer to the first one, I will withdraw my statement pending evidence. Okay, go on, yeah? I, I, I'll work with that. Thank you. Is that. Well, you can't deny that. That's the best thing you, <laughs> go on, go on, go on. any lawyer can uh, give you. I can see you've been... You know, you've been practicing your... <laughs> so, please okay. provide that. So, yes. Okay. As, I, as I'm searching, right. Now, the second thing, yeah? Did Jesus not know of the hour? If Are you searching? I'm, I am, okay. I am, as, as I'm doing, right? If Jesus is God, yeah? If Jesus is God, an all-knowing being, how is that information withdrawn from him? If he forgets for, forgets for himself, then how can I believe he is a God? Yes? Yeah? I haven't finished. How can I believe he is a God? Because you can't. If, if, if he doesn't know the hour, then he can't be a God. If he is self-forgetful and he doesn't know the hour, then he can't be a God. However, if he is God from the very beginning, as um, John 1, 1 says, fully God, fully uh, human as well, uh, as in uh, other parts of the scripture, then you have the problem. Someone else made him forget. The only power that is equal to Jesus is Father and the Holy Spirit. God made him forget. Sorry, no, that's my question to you. My question to you is... So you're not saying why that. Did, No, no, no. How does Jesus not know the hour? Okay, Being so an all-knowing being, All right, let me how does he not know that hour? Okay, let me respond to that. Okay. Either he, did, he forgot for himself, he didn't know, or he forgot for himself, or someone made him forget or not know. Okay. So, okay, so what that word has done is used, um, of course, um, and he's used a fallacy. And so what he's doing, he's giving you two false situations and saying pick one. But we know when we look into um, the teachings or the doctrine, 
um, of the incarnation. We have what we call a hypostatic union. When you have Jesus Christ, who was truly God and also truly human. And, when, and he tr as truly God, he had all the attributes of omniscience, omnipotence, omnipresent, and so on and so forth. So truly God, but in addition to that, in Philippians chapter 2, verse 7, when you add, um, the Bible says they took on an, um, another nature, which is a human nature, which meant that that human, na human nature was limited. It was limited in time and space. It was limited in knowledge. If you read in the scriptures, it says that Jesus Christ grew in stature and grew in wisdom. He, he grew in his knowledge that he knew, you know? And so, you know, scripture clearly teaches that the hypostatic that student you know, was Jesus being truly God and truly man. So in his, as a man, there were things that he was limited. Just like other prophets, they were limited and they would know um, so much in regards to um, the world around us. However, in his divine nature, he knew all things. So we have no problem with that. But what my friend Dawood is missing completely is that that was that, that's beside the point. I just thought I'd throw that in. What I'm asking is this, why would God give his prophet important information and then make him forget that information, especially when something, as, uh, like give him an example, as, as important as prayer, this is supposed to be a man who's supposed to be the greatest reciter and greatest memorizer of the Quran in all of humanity, okay? So this, you repeat that hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Let, brother, brother, you didn't see anything. No, I missed you. Okay, so Muhammad is repeat. the greatest re reciter. Before that, pray a bit, pray a bit. Okay, uh, the prayer, in regards to the prayer, yeah. okay, he would, um, the point it was making is that why would God allow Muhammad to forget something as important as prayer? Now, the, this is the man who's the greatest memorizer of the Quran, the greatest reciter. Now, Muslims will boast and they will say, we have eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds around the whole world that can um, recite and memorize the Quran. They, they will say eight-year-olds have a better memory than the Prophet of Islam. Now that's a major problem. And, and, and when you push that aside, even Dawood was not able to provide the evidence which he asserts by saying that My God... Time now. Hold on one second. I've got the verse. That it's God, just made a claim. I can't prove it. Let me finish. Let me finish. I then don't make a claim I, I wasn't I able no, to. Yeah, I've you, just got it right brother, here. Brother, you haven't let me finish. But you've just made a claim no, about No, I haven't. You, brother, you, brother, so you interrupted will you, me. Will you take it back? You interrupted me. I've got it. You haven't heard me what I was going to say. So, the point I'm making is that Wood could not prove from scripture that God made Jesus Christ, see that's why you should have waited, <laughs> made Jesus Christ forget, okay? And so now what he's going to do, he's going to show us, according to um, his um, verse, that, that it was abrogated, so, the stoning right, okay. and the sucker was abrogated. Right, right. Yes. right, so we're going to come back, so do you have the hadith? Okay, yeah, Reported let me read it. by let me, Muslim 1452. Let me, let me read it. One second. Let me get it up. Okay, so you, uh, yes, yes, I've got it here. What's, so the, what's the reference? Is, this is Sahil Muslim. Um, hold on, let me just, let me just get it. One second. So, we're not going to take it away. Hmm? I've got two sets, but okay, okay, no worries. I've just All given right. you it. Okay, oh, no, 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 I'm just going to just step. Okay, yeah, I've got it, I've got it. So, 1452, so, so. that's what you got. No, 1944. No, I'm it was just... narrated. Let me, read, let me read what I've got and see if it's the right one. It was narrated that Aisha said the verse of stoning and of breastfeeding an adult ten times was revealed and the paper was with, my, with me under my pillow. Okay, when the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death and a tame sheep came in and ate it. Sunan Sorry. Ibn Mijah. Sorry, that's, so, Sunan, that's, one, that's not Muslim. That's not, you said Baba. Muslim. Baba. You said Muslim. Yes, in, in, in Sunan Muslim. Sunan Ibn Majah, has, how has he classified that? As a Hassan, as a Sahih? Baba. Baba, it's Sahih, let me tell you. Oh, it's Sahih, it says Sahih there. Right. Baba. Baba, can I, can I, no, are no, you asking a question? No, no, it's my turn, my turn, my turn. Uh, so, don't ask right. a question. My turn. No, the whole, your whole response was filled with questions. I'm replying to your questions, right? Now, this is uh, Sahih Muslim. 1452 talking about the abrogation regarding the Sakli uh, uh, what the, in Arabic is called Rada right? and it said you can read it for yourself right, sorry, I have my hand the 
abrogation, right? You can read it for yourself. But I'm Rusahil, read Rusahil, 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 yeah. Rusahil. Okay. You're reading it. You can read it. I'm not. No, no, read, 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 no. read your verse. Uh, uh, no, no. You can read Rusa it. Okay. I'm a swami. Baba? I'm a swami. Come on. It's reading, it's reading, Baba. That's okay. It's embarrassing. Come on. Oh, I hate I classroom reading. Come on. Read it. Come on. Just read it. Look. We're saying the Quran. So it's fine. We're saying the Quran. Say Muslim. Say Muslim. Don't this way. Just read it. So no, so can you not read it? And I'll read it if you can't read it. I will follow you. Don't Are you able to read it yourself? Do you want a really bad voice of this like Just recite. read it, just read it, I'll listen to it. It's me to read it. Right. My English teacher will love this. <laughs> that's all right, that's all right. Listen, no, right. Lovely. In other words, the abrogation came so late when the Prophet peace be upon him died, some people did not yet hear that this ayah had been abrogated, but when they heard it had been abrogated, they stopped reciting it and agreed that it should, know, should not be recited. All the ruling mentioned in the ayah reminded in effect, this is an abrogation of the recitation without abrogation of the ruling, which is one type of abrogation. Having understood this, breastfeeding of the first two years does not create any relationship with the mother. Right? That's from Sahih uh, Muslim. Sure, sure, sure. The, 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 the hadith bit is that Reported by a Muslim, the other report by a Muslim, in other words, application came so late when the prophet of Jesus came so late, when the prophet of Jesus came what are you reading? You're reading, you're reading what I've just read. You're reading that top bit. The reference is always at the bottom. You're reading from where it says reported by Muslim. That's what I just read. Right. The, the, the reference is always at the bottom of what you're reading. Right. So that's why you're Muslim. Right. The number of breastfeeding days must total num known five feet. In which it's a really long hadith. You really want me to read it? No, I see really. I'm saying. I gave you the I'm summary saying, of the hadith. Yeah, exactly. So the reference is Sahih Muslim. What does it say Sahih Muslim? So the reference is right at the bottom. Yes. I've only got till six o'clock, so please allow me to respond. Yes. So that's you, you can. I've given you the reference. Now it's up to you if you want to disprove it or not. I've quoted my reference. Okay. Can I respond? Now, no, no, no. Okay. I've got. So you don't want me to respond to it? Hello. You, you asked two questions. Uh, allow me to respond to your second question, right? I will allow you, because I've got to leave at six, I'll let you have a response and then we'll call it a day, right? Okay. Yeah? So, right. No, no, no. Let me... Oh, okay. Then you, you'll yeah, have oh. your... Uh, last, you can have the last word. I, I, you love it. Right. I never claim that God made Jesus forget. I said you had... When you have Jesus not knowing the hour, you are only left with options. Now, the options are either Jesus forgot or Jesus didn't know. I came up with other options. Either God, one of the other members of the triune head, made Jesus forget or they didn't tell him. Yeah? These are the only options. If we have Jesus not knowing the hour, then Jesus being God, has, Godwin has to explain why doesn't Jesus know the hour? Is he forgetful or is he being withdrawn that information? Now, the other problem Godwin raised was the hypostatic union. Like Jesus is fully divine and fully human, fully flesh at the very same time. That doesn't excuse Jesus not knowing the hour because you're left with two problems again. The divine is so powerful, it overrides divine nature, thus making a divine being forgetful. Reasons why Muslims do not believe human beings can become God. Problem number two. Right, so first problem with the hypostatic union, a God becoming a God becoming man. The flesh made Jesus forget. Or option number two. So and I hope you follow. Option number two, that God emptied himself, God emptied himself of divine nature. That goes against the very scripture of the Old Testament, which Jesus revealed to Moses and the prophets, the Ketubims and the uh, 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 Nevibims. And if, if Christians believe Jesus holds on to the law, like they like to claim Muhammad in the Quran says you must believe in the Torah, well if Jesus believes in the Torah and he has law, he can't break it and suddenly change it. In the book of Malachi it says God does not change. So God cannot 
suddenly become godless. He cannot get rid of his attributes. If I ask any human being, what makes you a human being? And they give me the, uh, uh, the, uh, the reasons. And then I say, if I take these things away from you, are you still a human being? Likewise, whatever makes God is God. They cannot be taken away from you. Okay. Thank you. Now, can I just, okay, thank you for it. Thank you for it. So I'm going to deal with both points. The first point you made, yes, is he's, he's, he spoke about these verses being abrogated. Okay? Now, the problem he's going to have here is that the suckling of adult breasts and the stoning were actually practiced, not only were they revealed, but they were also practiced at the time before Muhammad's death. Let me just read you a couple of quotes because I want to make a point on this. Narrated, if this is Sayyid Bukhari, 6817. Narrated Aisha, Sayyid bin Abdi Waka said, Abdi bin Zama a quor um, a quarreled with each other regarding a child. The Prophet said, the boy is for you. Oh, Abdi bin Zam, eh, for the boy is for uh, of a bed. <laughs> this is really uh, hard to, uh, to follow. Oh, Sauda, screen yourself from the boy. The sub-narrator, Alif added, and the stone is for the person who commits an illegal sexual intercourse. So he's saying here, you stone a person who's committing illegal sexual intercourse. This is part of the um, Sharia law. This is what Islamic countries practice today. Now, um, my friend Dawood will never tell you it's part of the Sharia law. He will never tell you that it's practiced today by numerous Muslims, um, especially in Saudi Arabia and many other, in Yemen and many other places. I know it's this, hold time, on one second. Don't no, hold on one second, one second. I've never let talked me, about hold on, Did I interrupt you? I, wanna, you're strong I disagreed with what you were saying. But let me finish my no, point. You're, you're okay. man you. Let me finish my point. Okay. Now don't straw man me Right, okay. Don't put words I never into my mouth. I never no, straw I never man you. You just did. Stop cutting me off. No, I, just I'm not. have have some patience and have no, some manners. Have some manners. I'm, have some patience and have even some manners. I have, to be sick. have some patience and have I'm some cool. manners. He that would you do not know what a straw man is unless you have used that. I simply said yep. that you have mentioned something. A straw man is when I tell you something that you believe which you haven't said. I've said but something back. Do I? Right. Just let me yep. finish my yep. point yep. and stop. Have good manners. Oh, perfect That's what manners. I suppose Muhammad says. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So, Muhammad said never so hold on. So, so, hold on, hold so, on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, let me finish my point, brother. Stop it, stop it, let me on. finish my point. Hold on. No, I didn't interrupt you. Hold on. This is what happens with Muslims. I never I saw the camera. I never this saw is what happens to Muslims. They will make these assertions. Yeah. They will make um, these um, lies and, these, and, and, these, and deceptions. And then the minute you confront them and you bring answers to them, they will interrupt, they will cut you off, Had I mentioned and they will stoning. show bad manners. Had I mentioned so stoning. What he's no. doing now, he's be behaving childish because he will not allow well, me to finish my point. Speak to me, right. not to the camera. So I'm speaking to the camera rude. now because you're not allowing me to speak. It's very rude. Speak so to me. I'm going to read you another hadith speak to where me. it speaks clearly. Speak to me. Stop being rude. Speak to me. Stop being rude. You're being rude by not speaking okay. to me. Okay. So, face. again, I'm showing face you face. because you're interrupting me. You're interrupting face me. Face. Okay, I'm not going to. Just to face to face. Okay. okay, because that word is being so rude, I'm going to continue on speaking to the camera. Okay. Rude I'm going to be rude by okay. leaving. Okay. If I was right. rude, I had to go at six, but right. I stay okay. out of courtesy so now he's gonna, to allow him to have his run. Now However, run I'm being the rude Muslim. So, okay. Godwin, right. Thank you. enjoy the camera time. Okay. I'm sure okay. you'll like right. it. Right. Don't we wanted straw man me. We wanted to Never mentioned stoning question. had been abrogated. Never mentioned stoning. Okay. The now. hadith I quoted now, was regarding stop, stop breastfeeding. In fact, the verse hang hang hadith the didn't answer. speak about adult suckling because adult suckling is this forbidden is, in Islam. This is the manners Thank you. of the Islamic oh. Dawah team. Okay. Okay. But hang around. Touch. I, got, I, I told you I've got to go sick. No, but you if said to me that you were going to... If you're going to show a You said to me... I'm going to be rude. I'm not sure man you. I'm not sure man you. Be a gentleman. You said... Be a gentleman. You said that you'd wait for me to finish be a before you walked off. Be a gentleman. You said... Be a gentleman. This is Christianity. They won't even embrace someone they're meant to love. Because you're rude and disrespectful. And Islam, the abominant religion who hates. You're rude and disrespectful. Uh, okay, okay, goodbye, goodbye. Touch. Alright, so I'm going to continue. They won't on. shake hands with males. I'm going to But they have on. problems with Muslims that won't shake hands with women. Air oh my lord. Airtime. You're going to pixelate. Okay. Alright. That's the soul, by the way. Claim it. Claim it. Uh, I'm going to. 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 I'm going to.
going to somewhere else. Make the claim, Godwin. Godwin, before you're going home. Make the claim, I'm so did you. Make the claim, I'm waiting for it. Okay. Whilst I'm here, make the claim. That hood, go home. <laughs> you make Racist make comment, go home. You make yourself look embarrassed. You're embarrassing yourself right now. Uh, apparently, okay. I'm a Muslim. You couldn't wait for me to answer the question, so now you're right. If you're man me, I will do this to you. Fine. Take care, Godwin. Alright, so what he, he didn't want me to say, and this is why I was interrupting rudely, is that when you look at the practices in Islam, and I was going to give you several hadiths, which include Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, where stoning and also adult breast suckling was being practiced by Muslims. This was authorized by not only uh, Muhammad, but also the caliphs that came after Muhammad. That's number one. Number two, what he has to then do is he has to say, well, you know, there's a contradiction now. Because in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim explicitly states that this, these verses were under Aisha's pillow, but these, um, these verses were eaten by a sheep while they were preoccupied with um, the burial of Muhammad. And so he has a contradiction now. He's saying one is abrogated, the other one's Aisha, which is Sahil as well, is saying that no, they were lost because we were preoccupied. And so what you have essentially is you have um, verses that are lost, that we, that we don't have in the Quran, which ought to be in the Quran if this is the perfect um, book of, uh, of Allah. Now, now, the problem is this, going back to the initial question to my friend is, if Muhammad is the, the greatest memorizer of the Quran, which he agrees with, why is it that he's forgotten verses? Why is it that Allah is willingly making his his greatest prophet forget verses. Why is it that eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds around the world are able to remember uh, verses, but Muhammad cannot remember these verses? What does it say of Allah if He commands you to obey His command, obey His laws, which is to, um, to 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 carry out prayers, and then after that He makes you forget these things? The question to my Muslim friend, he wouldn't answer. So he went on to try to use. where it states that God made Jesus forget. We explained that not only is Jesus God, but he's also, um, in addition to that, he took on um, human nature as well. So he was both truly God and truly man. As a human being, there are things he was limited in his knowledge. But as a divine being, he was all-knowing. That's why our um, forefathers came, um, forefathers used or coined the term, the hypostatic union. This is clearly taught in scripture and clearly 